Welcome to another Excel tutorial. This tutorial we're going to look at how to protect your files and how to make sure that people can't change things in your files if you're ever trying to share some data with them. The first thing we're going to look at is in Excel spreadsheets. Now, generally you'd be on the home screen. Within each of your files there are areas if we have a look in review now review obviously lets you spell check check the thesaurus but what we're interested in this tutorial is these three items here more specifically this here protect a sheet now by selecting this this is going to limit people from changing anything on this sheet because obviously you don't want someone accidentally changing their salary for instance so I'm just going to show you how this works. Protect sheet. Now it will ask you what we're going to do. So select lock cells, select unlock cells. That's all they can do. So they can pick cells and they can unlock cells. But that's it. They can't do anything else apart from look inside cells. And we're going to add a password. So it's up to you what password you want to set. I'm going to set this to apples. Click OK. Now obviously to make sure that you remember it, it asks you twice. Apples. Now the sheet is now protected from anyone trying to change it. So if I was to try and change something on this, so for instance tickets, I cannot change it unless I unprotect the sheet. So of course unprotect the sheet I could type in my password which will allow me to change parts of this spreadsheet so that's the first part <coughs> about protecting Excel spreadsheets now the next place if you didn't even want someone to open the spreadsheet so if the spreadsheet was confidential we can set a password so that they only will be able to even open the spreadsheet unless they type the password in. We can do this using file and then we can go down to protect workbook here and in here we're going to encrypt with a password so this will require a password to open this workbook. The password obviously to type in and then retype in the password to make sure you remember it. Once it has been password protected, if we now close this file, now if we try and open this file, so sample data, it won't open unless I put the password in correctly. So depending on which of the files you want to make secure, a good way obviously most times spreadsheets need to be confidential, especially on the data that they contain. So those are a couple of ways in which you can secure and protect the files which you think are confidential. Thank you for watching.